Hey everybody, I'm just going to make this short and sweet. What I want to say today concerns the Sebastian Rogers case. Can we please just make this about finding Sebastian, put out the appropriate information. Let's stop all the speculation, the clickbaity titles, all of that crap. This is a missing child. It's time for everybody to be Team Sebastian. Not Team Mom, not Team Dad, not Team Stepdad, whatever it is. This is about finding Sebastian. Let's put out the information that is vetted by law enforcement. Let's not speculate. Let's not do grandiose clickbait titles. Do better. Be better. Come on, guys. I mean, seriously. Thank you. There is no evidence to support foul play is involved in the disappearance of Sebastian. Um, we do want to caution some, uh, there are some media, social media elements out there who purport to have information that is direct from the investigation. Um, I just want to reiterate that that is not the case. The, some of the information that is being provided on some of the social media channels is inaccurate, incomplete. Um, we don't want this to damage the investigation. So we would just caution anyone who is following the case to just use some caution as to what you see and what you believe. TBI and a spread of Middle Tennessee agencies are back on the ground today searching for Sebastian Rogers. The 15-year-old was reported missing on February 26th, and there have been no signs of him ever since. Peyton Kennedy, live at the command post now near Long Hollow Pike in Hendersonville with what crews have been focused on today, Peyton. And Nicole, when Sebastian was first reported missing, we saw extensive official search parties here on the ground, but with no sign of him, that scaled back on March 4th. Now on April 4th, we are back here once again for an on-the-ground official search party. So here's a look at those efforts from this morning. You really couldn't drive far along Long Hollow Pike without seeing a search party working through the fields and properties along the road or without seeing a sign with information about Sebastian and the number to call if you have details on him or his whereabouts. Again, that number is 1-800-TBI-FIND. Now, the command post is behind Long Hollow Church. It's not far from where Sebastian's mother and stepfather live and where the teenager was reportedly last seen. Officials say that they are not ruling anything out in this environment investigation. This was originally announced as a two day search, but as to whether or not it will roll into a third day will depend on what they discover today. If anything, we'll be keeping you posted all afternoon live here in Hendersonville. For now, Peyton Kennedy, News 2. Come on home, Sebastian. Call 911 if you need help. You are not in any trouble. I promise just come on home.
I would like to thank Unsupervised Maniac for the video that she put together for Sebastian. It is absolutely amazing. Her link will be in the description below. Please check her out. Give her a sub. That's all I have for you today. Please be well. This is about Sebastian. Not about anything else. Sebastian, if you see this, come home. Thank you.